I'm happy to report that with 16 days left and counting, the B3As and the local organizing committee of CREFTA 2013 are extremely happy to announce that we are ahead of our target in the planning of these games. After having organized six games in the past, we have no doubt that these 2013 games will be the best ever held in the history of CARIFTA. Some eight years ago, Colleen Imperial Insurance was the title sponsor of the hugely successful 20th Senior Central American and Caribbean Track and Field Championships held in Nassau at the old Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. Last year, the company renewed its support of our sport by becoming the title sponsor of CARIFTA 2013 trials, 2012 trials. We are happy to announce this morning that Colina Insurance has decided to come on board this year as a bronze sponsor of the CARIFTA 2013 championships, therefore continuing its corporate sport of cultural and social causes in the Bahamas. You would remember that last year the company printed a calendar which promoted the numerous sporting disciplines that the youth are involved in in the Bahamas. In the calendar, one of the top athletes, Ramon Miller, was featured. Miller went on to greatness in less than a year when he anchored the Bahamas Golden Knights to an upset victory over the mighty United States in the Olympic Games at the 4 by 400 meter relay. In our belief, it is our belief today that Kalina's support of what Lamine Diak, the president of the International Association of Athletic Federations, calls the best junior championships in the world. This will go a long way in making this the best Carifta Games ever. I'm also happy to announce that 25 of the 26 countries who participated in the Carifta Games have confirmed their participation this year. We believe this would be the largest number of countries ever to participate in the Carifta Games. We can say that the design of the new Thomas A. Robertson National Stadium makes it the jewel of the Caribbean and allows each seat to be a prime seat. With this in mind, we encourage the public to continue to purchase their tickets for the games and not wait until they are sold out. We feel so confident that the public will get unbelievable value for their small investment in Bahamian and now regional track and field. We have decided to have no charge for the morning sessions and recommend that the public fill the stadium in the first competition session on Saturday, the 30th of March. This will give an important signal to the Bahamian and all visiting teams. I'm also happy to announce that members of the local organizing committee will be visiting churches in New Providence this weekend to promote the games and ask for the prayers of the public, for the athletes, the officials, and the competition at large. On behalf of the Bahamas Association of Athletic Associations and the local organizing committee of CARIFTA 2013, we thank Kalina Insurance for coming on board as a bronze sponsor. And just to continue, every step of the way in our planning, we have tried to raise the bar from the opening ceremony to the uniforms to all aspects of the entertainment, it will be above what it has been in the past. And we are finding out that every bit of our planning is costing a lot more money. So Kalina's contribution to our efforts right now will go a long way in enhancing that reputation that we so dedicated to maintain. Kalina's commitment to sports, youth, and fitness continues with our $30,000 bronze sponsorship of the 20, 2013 Carifta Games. Like the rest of the Bahamas, Kalina is eager to welcome the athletes and fans coming out to support our national teams in the new national stadium. We are pleased to be a part of this initiative that is so important to the Caribbean and the Bahamas Atlantic community. Well, in this new stadium, it is, our, it is the intention of the local organizing committee to fill the stadium for every session. We feel this is important for the Bahamians to participate in all of this, you know, they, 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 just to see the future Olympians. And also, we feel the more people in the stadium, this will enhance the performance of the athletes in the region. You know to set more new standards, do more new world records. And we wanted to make the, the um, we, wa we wanted to make the, the, the participation in these games affordable. That's why the morning sessions are free. And even the cost of the tickets, they range from $5, $15, $20. We feel this is affordable. Just, you know, to fill the stadium. Can I have and, the schedule out? 
Well, the schedule can be uh, seen on the CARIFTA website, which is www.carifta2013.com. All of the information is there regarding the schedule and um, the, the participating countries, and also be featuring a number of Caribbean and local athletes on that website. If you can remember going any place with tickets, you know, in the stadium as it is now, the old stadium, when we have the events, the big events, we charge 20 or $25 for the uh, VIP. And for us to be able, this is local events now, for us to be able to charge $20 for the VIP in this big regional event, we feel that we're really giving the public a, a, a benefit that they won't forget. And with the kind of competition that we anticipate, the regional and Bahamian competition, we feel that when you would have left the stadium Easter Monday night, that you would put your hand in your pocket and give some money back to the organizing committee. We feel that it'll be that great. And any one of you can see me that night afterwards and tell me that the competition wasn't that great. We feel that good about what is going to happen. And the people from around the region are feeling the same way. All sorts of people who we didn't think were coming are going to come. Well, I said 75 uh, yes, NC2A coaches. Uh, normally, Stanley, you wouldn't see more than about 20 or 30 that coaches, many. if that many, to uh, competitions. Um, we have uh, the number of people are coming from more than, than just uh, the United States. Uh, we have media people from Europe. Uh, we, well, of course, you... Well, um, in 1992, with me as president, I wrote the president. He was not the president at that time of the IAAF. He was a vice president, and he replied that he was not able to come. Ten years later, he came under the invitation of the president, Mike Sands. Mike was in president then uh, for the 2002 Carifta Games. And it was so significant to him. And he has seen junior championships all around the world, from Africa, Asia, uh, all around the place. So he is the one who should know. And he was completely astounded by what he saw in the Bahamas in 2002. And the person who won the Austin Sealy Award was not Usain Bolt, but Usain Bolt did participate and won the 200 meters and the 400 meters. And from that competition, he said that he will be, he will, if, if his schedule permits, he will make every effort to be at the games. And he's been to most of them. And you also know that in 2004, Usain Bolt broke the set a new world junior record. And in 2007, in the Cayman Islands, Johan Blake, um, I think he set a record, uh, it may have been a record at Carifta in, in Provo, uh, but Johan Blake is somebody who now challenges Usain Bolt. So uh, he knows and he sees um, that this region has the best junior athletes in the world. You all, you all are all of, all of uh, you all are Bahamians, eh? The Beatles were here in the early 60s. Nobody concerned themselves. Uh, quite a number of celebrities have been to the Bahamas. Nobody concerned themselves. They could walk down the street and nobody bother them. Lamindia came here in 2002. And even the media were not excited with him being here. Uh, it says to us, that we are we now in the leagues. In 1987, they had one country, one vote. And that made it a point that if the Bahamas was serious about anything in track and field, we could engineer it, we could move it. Dr. Bernard Norris was the one who moved that in Rome in 1987. And 
him being here, and also them awarding us 2014 and 2015, the inaugural World Relay Championships, says that we have arrived. We're at the level of those countries in the world, the big countries in the world. And you're also aware that several years ago, two years ago, we were fourth place in the World Youth Championships. Only the United States, Kenya, and Jamaica were ahead of us. Uh, uh, the mighty Russia wasn't ahead of us. The mighty Great Britain wasn't ahead of, it, of us. Um, Italy, Germany, none of them were ahead of us. So it shows that, not even Cuba, it shows that we're in the top leagues. But we in the Bahamas don't even think of that, because in 2007, we won a gold in the high jump with Donald Thomas. We won the silver in the 100 meters with Derek Atkins. We won a silver in the relay with now the, uh, 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 the Golden Knights. And it was no big thing. We were, I think, in eighth or ninth place in the world. So uh, Mr. Diak coming here signifies that he believes that we are at the top of the world in track and field, especially with the numbers that we have. I hope that sinks in. Okay. Bahamas Athletics, fast track news, number one in the field.